Good morning, Pipers. Uh, Friday morning here in the UK and uh, got a day off from the day job, uh, which is good because I'm not liking this cold weather at all at work. Fingers are all cracking from working outside in these like it was like it didn't get above zero really on Tuesday, I think it was. My hands were like slabs of ice. And uh, yeah, don't enjoy it at all. So, nice to have a day off. Let's start another pipe. Uh, smoking Jermaine's Brown Flake in the alternate spigot billiard superb tobacco as to be expected from Jermaine's back with a boy <laughs> and uh, yeah all's good the uh, package that were going to Germany that got lost did show up and has been delivered to the customer. So that's good. Got one just messing about in customs at Switzerland at the moment, so hopefully there shouldn't be a problem there. And that'll uh, find its way to its customer soon. And just started a, another pipe, a second pipe for a marine in stationed in Hawaii. I think, well, it was stationed in Hawaii, the last pipe. So I'm presuming it's still there. Anyway, this pipe. So this pipe is the third pipe this gent has had. It is for Rupert the Pipe Man. Uh, he doesn't have a YouTube channel, but he's on Instagram, Rupert underscore the underscore pipe man. And uh, for you that know, uh, he's probably the most dapper, well-dressed, quintessential English gent you could find, I think. He's a lovely guy. And uh, he'll be getting this pipe this afternoon. He lives not too far from me. And he's already told me it's going to be dedicated to Lakelands. Uh, so, the bling thing. Because it is what I call the thing rustication. Which is this really deep craggy rustication smooth bottom it's a uh, magnum shotgun shell which actually has uh, some pistols on it but Rupert was the first guy to have a Shotgun poker offered me. He bought the first one I did. Well, not the very first one I kept that, but the first one that I did for sale. And uh, it had this Magnum cartridge on, which is a Fiocchi, I think. Fiocchi, Fiocchi. And it's got pistols on it, but the other way around, they look like pipes. Can you see that? Anyway, I had one of these cartridges left. I think it was the last one, to be honest. And then into this. Uh, Eldridge Gold Cumberland, hence the bling part of the thing. I love this rustication. Feels really, really good in the hand. Plenty to 
feel of your way around while you're smoking. Pretty decent length pipe, I think it's about six inch. And yeah, so that is another one completed. In the bag with the badge. So, that's it guys, I don't think I've got anything else exciting to say. Uh, managed to pick up a new lighter, and I've been after one of these for quite some time. It is a Prince, a Prince Pipette, uh, made in Japan. Very hard to find now, I think. Uh, and this were a brand spanker. That's the uh, flame adjuster on the bottom there. And it works by pushing it up, which releases the gas. And then obviously, and then just push it back down to close the gas off. Change the flint at the back there pretty heavy substantial really well made lighter and hopefully it shall stand the test of time they do have a really good reputation i think calibri used to do one as well called the firebird pipe lighter pretty much the same design but them again i can't find them either so it's just a case of looking out on ebay but happy to have a good light and again. Yeah, so I'll leave it at that guys. Uh, no point rambling on for the sake of it. And uh, as ever my friends, stay smoky.